According to the USDA, the average age of a production farmer here in the U.S. is about 57. But the USA Rice Federation's leadership program is targeting the next generation of young farmers, giving them an opportunity to succeed. Last week, the group toured the heart of rice country here in Louisiana. That's where This Week in Louisiana Agriculture's A.J. Sabine caught up with them. As in much of agriculture, it all starts with questions in a warm greenhouse. LSU rice researcher Dr. Shine Shah describes the breeding of these rice plants to members of the USA Rice Federation's leadership program. Like these rice plants, this group of seven are nurtured in every aspect of the rice industry. Dr. Steve Linscombe on the right leads a tour of the LSU Rice Research Station, a must stop for these guys. Outside, the wind nearly drowns out Dr. Linscombe as the group of five farmers and two industry leaders learn about the farm's underground wells and plant trials. Californian Josh Shepard says so far, it's been a great experience. Hybrid rice is something that we, we don't have any exposure to, so I was, I was fascinated by the uh, information that was presented and the work that they're doing here on, on hybrids. I, I think that's, that's something that we're going to really be looking forward to. The factory floor of John Pack was the next stop on the tour. The company makes packaging for rice grown right here in Louisiana and exports its bags all over the world. Ed Legier explains how the polypropylene bags are woven together. Everything left on the bag is 100% uh, food safe. This is an education you just can't get in a classroom, and that's the whole point. The USA Rice Federation wants its leaders to understand not only what's going on in the field, but how the rice industry affects the workers in this factory and beyond. For Tom Butler of California, it's been a learning experience. Oh, that was really eye-opening to me. It's just, you know, it's always been a bag for me, and to sit there and watch the process of it, you know, it, it was great. And just what you guys can do without the regulatory pressure that a corporation like a factory like that would get in California, you know, it, it's, it's an experience, and it's a totally different perspective for a guy like me. You know, many years ago, my own grandfather was a rice producer, and I remember the challenges that he faced when he went to put a crop into a field much like the one you see behind me. Problems such as high fuel and fertilizer costs, problems that are common to the entire rice industry. But that's part of the goal of the USA Rice Federation Rice Leadership Program. It's about uniting producers of different backgrounds to finding common solutions to difficult problems. In a word, it's about unity. You know, our leadership is getting older and they're probably getting tired of fighting all the battles that we have to deal with and we need younger people in there and uh, we need to be all united as one and not go up there, you know, as Mississippi, Arkansas, Louisiana. If we all go as one, we have uh, more chance of getting things passed in Washington. After John Peck, can you say crawfish? Obviously, there wasn't much conversation, but program director Chuck Wilson says it was important to give these leaders some Louisiana flavor on this trip. The production practices are different down here, water leveling, water seeding, things like that that are not prevalent in, in the other rice producing states. So there, there are things that are extremely important to our industry, unique to our industry that are in this area. In Acadia Parish, I'm A.J. Sabine for this week in Louisiana agriculture.